Hello dear Scorpios, a welcome to your November and December 2021 predictions. This is Clarity 1129. Yes, we are doing two months uh, this time together because I'm going to be spending December the planning your 2022 predictions, all right? The format will be pretty much the same. Only thing it will be um, a double um, uh, reading because there are two months here. We'll begin, as always, with the Moonology deck for the overarching energy of the month. Well, it is uh, uh, your season, so wish you a very happy birthday, dear Scorpios. Hope, uh, you know, this month is abundant and filled with all things that are important to you and bring you a lot of happiness and joy. All right. And just in tune with that, you get this beautiful card as your overarching energy of the month, which says new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. This is such a beautiful card and I even like the way it is. It's so pretty. Okay. For December, you get <laughs> new moon and Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So this is beautiful. Two months. All right. Now for the month of November, we shall use the Light Seal Tarot. And I'll take out four cards, one each for your general outlook, love and romance, career and finance, and spiritual growth. All right. All right, for the general outlook, you get the three of pentacles. All right, for your love and romance, you get judgment. For career and finance, you get the six of pentacles. And for your spiritual growth, you get the queen of wands. Now we'll take out four cards from the Ethereal Vision Tarot for your December 2021. All right, for the general outlook, you get the tower. Okay. Then you get, for love and romance, the knight of wands. For your career and finance, you get the king of swords. And for your spiritual growth, you get the artist, which is a card which is specific to this deck. I shall also take out two cards each from the tea leaf tarot for the months of November and December, and then we'll dive into your basic reading, all right? All right, for November, you get unicorn, Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. That's a nice card to get. And Apple, temptation will test you. With this judgment card here, I'm not surprised. All right, then for December, you get cobweb. Protected from ne negative forces beyond your control, which is wonderful. And weeping willow, family sorrow. All right. Hey, I think someone else got the same cards. <sighs> And I shuffle them so well, but anyway. All right. Let's begin with the basic reading and then I'll go for uh, getting to your advice from spirit and the rest of it. All right. So starting with your birthday month, you get new moon in eclipse. Expect powerful change. So, you know, uh, till last month, 
most of the planets were in retrograde so it's natural that you know the energies in every area of our lives will gain momentum but now with this being your birthday month you're being told that if you found that things were stagnant things weren't moving the way you wanted things are going to move and there's going to be a major change in your life it's not going to be anything small it's going to be something that you will actually feel during this month all right for the general outlook you get the three of pentacles so you're working hard be it your career or your home you're working to expand all right so it's a, a nice place you're going to have a lot of collaborations with different people in different settings and it's good that's going to be the basic theme of this month all right so it is your birthday there will be uh, reasons to celebrate so be it at work or at home it's going to be a good time all right now uh, along with that you get this unicorn and apple use your t intuition to make beneficial changes so if there are some changes that you need to make around your home or at work or whichever area in your uh, life it is maybe your health whatever it is you're being asked to let your intuition guide you now uh, it is a known fact that all water signs are very very connected to their inner selves right you have this uh, i mean everyone has an intuition but most of us are not in touch with it but water signs naturally because they are, they've got so much of depth of emotion they are in touch with their heart they're in touch with their emotions and they're in touch with the intuition and this time you're being asked more than any other time to actually pay heed to that intuition and follow it all right then you get temptation with test tube and with that we come into your love uh, and romance uh, sector where i feel this is going to play up uh, because judgment talks about reconciliation so there could be someone from your past who's returning and it may be uh, someone you've had a toxic relationship with and you've said enough is enough but when they show up after a long while you may be tempted to start afresh so this is what you're uh, you know you're being alerted um, for that this might happen so whatever decision you uh, make whether to go back uh, to them or not just um, be very grounded when you make this decision because you know you uh, you shouldn't regret it later because there was a reason why things didn't work out in the past so think about it follow your gut feeling and don't just get swayed just because you're seeing this person after a long time so those who are single um, you are going to meet somebody who's going to be who is fated to come into your life all right so this is a um, very good time for that that you know there will be someone who sparks your interest and possibly this person will uh, will have that potential for a long-term commitment all right those who are already in partner relationship you might take it to the next level those in marriages again uh, you will uh, you know have a fresh start in your relationship and things will be you know if things have been a little rough you will forgive one another and you know you will um, give each other second chances and start moving ahead all right so this is as far as your love and romance is concerned for your career and finances you get the six of pentacles which is a lovely card it means equal give and take what you put in that you shall uh reap all right so that's a lovely lovely card it's all, all about balance and happy uh work environment when it comes to your spiritual growth you get the queen of wands which says that you are in your power and you know the queen of wands is one person who always has this cat next to her the black cat is always there telling us that she's highly intuitive all right and she doesn't go behind things she's in her feminine energy and she allows things to come to her and this is what you're being asked to do during this time and when you do that when you start accepting things and you start using the law of attraction you know maybe during this month with expect powerful change you are going to be able to manifest anything that you want into your life and in this way you're going to be uh, you know moving ahead in your spiritual path for the month of december you get luck is on your side 
So whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever changes uh, you are making in your life, you will find that luck is going to be on your side and things will work out the way you want it to. With cobweb, you get protected from negative forces beyond your control. Now, when luck is on your side and things are happening for you, uh, obviously you'll have a lot of people who uh, can't digest that very easily, but you don't have to worry about it because you are um, protected, all right? And with this family sorrow, uh, for a few of you, it could be because, uh, you know, if you're already partnered up and you've taken up this temptation and you've not been able to resist it, it's possible with this tower card here because tower card, which is the general outlook of the month of December, talks about, uh, you know, anything that is in your life, which is on shaky ground, that will come crumbling down. All right. So if you've uh, not been able to resist temptation and if you're already in a relationship, then possibly that's what's going to fall apart. All right. Um, and that is what is possibly causing this family sorrow. That's something uh, because of your temptation has led to this moment. All right. For your love and romance, you get the Knight of Wands. So there'll be a lot of passion. For those who are single, you may have passionate encounters, um, which may or may not read, uh, I mean, have long-term potential it could just be um, uh, having some fun those who are uh, partnered or in a committed relationship there will be a lot of passion in your life all right uh, and things will look really uh, beautiful for you that way for your um, Korean finance you get the king of swords which means you're at that place wherein uh, you have the larger picture now the King of Swords is the, is an air sign, right? It talks about logic. It talks about absolute clarity. So whatever it is that you're working on, you have absolute clarity and complete control over. So that's a very comfortable place to be as far as your career and finances are concerned. For your spiritual growth, you get the artist, which is, as I said, pick, um, you know, only a part of this particular deck ethereal visions and it talks about creativity that you can actually create whatever it is that uh, you want to and with this beautiful queen of wands here i think you are at your best as far as manifestation is concerned all right you can create whatever reality you want you are in a very very powerful space both in november and december and with luck being on your side you can get what you want so use this power wisely keep your thoughts positive and there will be no looking back all right so that is as far as your basic um, reading is concerned now we'll take out one card each for november and december from the angel and ancestors Oracle. For the month of November, you get Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. So this is really beautiful. Uh, with this judgment card here, um, as I said, for those who are single, you'll find that uh, you know, you're going to meet that uh, person who's destined to be in your life. And if you have your walls up, you're being asked to let those walls down and love and let yourself be loved. All right. So don't have, uh, don't be very um, skeptical or don't um, be overtly suspicious. Learn to trust and learn to love and let yourself be loved. All right. So this is the advice from spirit okay for the month of november and for the month of december you get winter take care of your needs all right so along with this tower moment what i feel is if uh you know things that are no longer serving you will leave your life in the month of december 
which may you know i think cancerians got the same card if i'm not mistaken with the weeping willow in fact they've got this as well and what i feel is that whatever is leaving your life which is no longer serving you but you're used to it and because you're used to it you'd rather have something which is upsetting you which you're used to than have it go from your life but the tower card is a major arcana card and it will happen beyond your control so uh, i mean because and it's not a negative card you know you may find the change uh, shakes you but the fact is that in the long run you'll find that this was very beneficial for you okay so maybe immediately you'll find uh, you may feel a little upset that things didn't work out or you know someone around you whom you had expectations from didn't do what you wanted them to but in the long run you're being told that this is going to be beneficial and during this time of powerful change when things feel like a bit of an upheaval remember that luck is your on your side and don't forget to take care of your needs because no matter what happens in our life it is imperative for us not to neglect ourselves all right self love when you love yourself the universe also falls in love with you and gives you all that you need all right mm, and now we will take out two cards from the astral houses to tell you where you can expect maximum change in the months of november and december so for november you will find uh, changes in your career and in december you will find love though i don't know why i'm being um, called to change it i think you're going to see a lot of changes please give me a moment or rather i feel uh, though you get you've got career for november and love for december i have a feeling these two are going to happen in both the months for you and you'll find this you know it's not as though they meet compartments but they're going to merge so you'll find changes in both these areas in these two months all right now if there's a time specific question on your mind when is this going to happen will this happen when will i get this when will this come to me when will i start traveling whatever that question is i'm going to take out two months and whatever it is will happen between those two months so august and december so any time between december this year and august next year whatever it is that you're waiting for will come to you all right and last but not the least we will take out one card from the angel answers to give you that uh, an answer to that pressing question on your mind so focus on your question as the angels are getting ready to give you an answer and the answer is don't stop so if you've got uh you know something uh, that you're working on and you feel that the results are not uh visible you're being asked to not stop keep doing whatever you're doing and whatever uh, you're looking for and more will come to you all right so with that i come to the end of your reading for november and december my dear scorpios and um, i hope it resonated with you guard against temptation and uh, it looks like a wonderful two months for you you you're in a great place as far as your manifestation is concerned so please keep your thoughts positive and don't stop doing anything because you're not seeing changes yet it's all coming to you all right so have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful december and i'll see you at the end of the Dece of um i'll see you at the end of december with your 2022 predictions all right stay good be safe bye bye